In today's tutorial, I'll share with you a tool that you can use to upscale your low resolution images to high resolution images just like these ones. And what's more is that you can use the exact same tool to upscale your videos as well. To get started, click on the link in the description box below and it will take you over to this website. So with Winx Video AI, you can upscale your videos as well as your images. So all you need to do is just click on the free download button and this will allow you to test out the tool for free. Some of the services that we'll get with this tool include video stabilization, image enhancer, video enhancer, as well as frame interpolation. This here is an image that has been upscaled using this tool. And as you can see, the upscale level is really, really good. And you can go ahead and choose the level of upscale that you want, of course, depending on the video or the image that you're working with. So with this tool, you can enhance your video and images to cinema grade quality by elevating camera recordings, restoring old footages, improving low quality videos, as well as enhancing AI generated images. So you can improve your low quality videos just as shown in this image over here. You can also elevate your camera recordings. You can also go ahead and upscale your AI generated images as well as restore old footages as you can see in this image. So to get started, go ahead and click on the free download button. So this is going to download the software directly to your computer. So once it's downloaded, just go ahead and install this. And once it's installed, this window is going to open. And as you can see, we have the image AI. So you can enhance your images using this button over here. Next, you can enhance your videos using this button. Other than that, we have the video converter, the downloader and the screen recorder. So I'm going to start this by showing you how to upscale the images. So for this, we're going to start with the image AI. So we'll just go over to this image AI button and you're just going to click on this. And once you click on it, this window is going to open up. So up here we have the settings. So from the settings, you can go ahead and change the settings of all the tools that we saw earlier. So we have the general settings and from here you can choose your language. You can also choose the hardware and all that. Next, you can go ahead and choose the video settings and these include things like the output folder and any other settings that you want to adjust as well as the video downloader. You can do the same for that. We also have the screen recorder and from here you can choose the settings that you want for your recorder, including the output format. Finally, we have the AI tool settings and from here you can go ahead and choose the output folder that you want as well as adjust the proxy settings as well. To start enhancing your images, you need to go ahead and add the images that you want to enhance. So you can do that by clicking on either of these buttons. So I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to choose one of the images that I want to enhance. So once the image has been added, it's going to be upscaled according to the settings that you have. But don't worry, you can always go ahead and change this later. So as you can see, my image has been upscaled up to 2x. So you can just go ahead and look at your images and see if you like the level of upscale, but you can go ahead and change the settings. For instance, you can change the AI model that you want to use. So once you choose a specific model, you'll see what it's going to do to your image. So just go ahead and choose the appropriate model that you want to use. So once that is done, you can go ahead and choose the model settings. From the model settings, you can go ahead and choose the scale option. And this will give you an option to choose all the way to 4X. Next, you can choose the resolution option, and this will allow to choose from 1K all the way to 8K. And you also have the enhanced image option. Other than that, we have the image restoration option. So you can go ahead and choose the face restoration options if that is something that you want to do. You can also go ahead and choose the coloring monochrome image if that is something you also want to do. So once you've chosen the appropriate settings for your image, now all you need to do is just go ahead and click on the start button. So for this specific image, I'm going to choose the scale option and I'm going to upscale this to 4X. So I had initially upscaled this to 2X. So you can just go ahead and look at your image side by side just to be sure that you're getting the kind of upscale that you want. So for this, I'll just go ahead and upscale it further and I'm going to go ahead and choose the 4X option. Once that is done, I'll just go ahead and click on start. So once the process has started, you're just going to give this a few minutes. So if you want to cancel, just go ahead and click on the abort button. So I'll just go ahead and fast forward this part. And here we have our image. So this is the image that has been upscaled to 4X. As you can see, the results are really, really good. If you look at the face and the facial features, 
You can even see the level of upscale of her dress and even the surrounding vegetation. So I really, really like this image. So once you're satisfied with the image that you've gotten, all you need to do now is just go over to the export settings and you can choose the image format that you want to use. You can choose between JPEG and PNG. Next, you can go ahead and choose the image quality that you want to export in. Down here, you can see the output folder and this is going to be the folder that you chose earlier in the settings. So if you're upscaling a lot of images, you can just go ahead and upscale all the images that you want. And then you can just go ahead and hit the run button so that it, it can export all the images at once. But since I only have one image, I'll just go ahead and hit the run button. And this is just going to download the image directly. It's just going to save it to the output folder that I chose. As you can see, my image is ready and it's been saved to my output folder. Now I'm just going to remove this image and I'll just go ahead and upload a different image. So this time I'll upload an image of this tiger. So once the image has been uploaded, it's actually just going to upscale automatically again to 2x. But you can always go ahead and change this. So in this case, I just want to go ahead and use a different model setting. As you can see, the image has been upscaled and it's actually okay, but I just want to go ahead and do a different kind of upscale. I'm just going to use a different model. And this time I'll be using the resolution option and I'm going to use the 8K option. So once that is done, I'll just go ahead and hit start. And this is just going to start upscaling my image to 8K. Again, once your image is ready, you can just go ahead and compare it to the original image just to be sure that you're getting the kind of image that you want. And as you can see, the new image is quite crisp when it comes to the details. Again, you can just go ahead and choose a different kind of upscale if you want, if you're not satisfied with the results. So for instance, I can go ahead and choose 4K and I'll just go ahead and upscale this to 4K. So here we have the 4K image and you can just go ahead and play with the settings. You can go ahead and choose different types of model settings until you get the image that you want. And once you're satisfied, go ahead and hit run and this is going to save your image to the output folder that you chose. So as I said earlier, if you have a lot of images that you want to upscale, you can go ahead and upscale each of these images. For instance, I have this bird over here. I've upscaled it to 2x. I also have this bunny over here. I've upscaled it to 3x. Then I'll just go ahead and upload this butterfly over here. And I'm going to upscale this to 4x as well. And I have this other image that I'm going to upscale to 3x. So once you've done all that, you can go ahead and hit the run button. And this is going to export all the images to your output folder instead of exporting each image on its own. So once you hit the run button, it's just going to export all the images together. As you can see, I have all my images over here. They have all been exported at once. So to upscale a video, just go back to this page and just go ahead and click on video AI. So once you're here, again, all you need to do is just go ahead and adjust the settings as you would want. The settings are up here, just like we saw in the image option. Next, you're going to click on this button and I'm going to upload the video that I want to upscale. So once the video has been uploaded, you can go ahead and adjust the settings. So first, you can go ahead and choose the AI model that you want to use. So from this drop down menu, you can go ahead and choose the model that you want to use. Then you can also choose between high quality and fast mode. Next, you can choose the model settings. And from this, you can choose between scale, resolution, and with resolution, you can choose all the way to 4K. And finally, we have the enhanced video option. So my video has already been upscaled to 2X. So you can just go ahead and compare the video side by side just to see if the video has been upscaled to the level that you actually want. So once that is done, you can go ahead and export your video. So if you just want to upscale a section of your video, all you need to do is just come over to this bar down here and you can adjust the part of the video that you want to upscale. So you can also go ahead and choose a different upscale option. For instance, if I choose 3x, I can just go ahead and hit start. And this is just going to upscale my video to 3x. So once the upscale is complete, you can just go ahead and review your video just to make sure the results are up to standard. And once that is done, now you can go over to the export settings and you can go ahead and choose the export settings that you want. And once that is set up, then now go ahead and hit run. And this is going to export your video to your output folder just like this.
So that's how easy it is to use this tool to upscale your images and your videos. So go ahead and give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you have any experience with this, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.